Hey guys and welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm showing you guys all my scrapbooking supplies and I'm actually going to be creating a page for today. And so I thought it would be a cool idea to kind of show you guys what I do and how it works. Um, it is a little bit later, so I'm not going to talk too much in this video. I kind of just want to show you guys. But for the most part, I'm showing you guys my supplies, what I have, and my little system. Um, I did pick up a few photos, and I try to do this maybe like every other weekend where if there's a, something in my life that's happening or going on and I want to create a page for, then I will. And in today's clip... You're going to see me creating my page on Fast. So first and foremost, you gotta have pictures or things. And for me, it's easier to document my experiences through pictures. And so um, every weekend or every other weekend, I will print out some pictures if it's ready for a page. And so for this fasting, it was only three days. And so today's actually Saturday and I'm going to go ahead and create my page on fasting. Alright, so for me, I enjoy scrapbooking in my closet. Um, the closet you saw me grab my supplies is my linen closet and where we keep our dirty hamper, our clean towels and things like that. That's where I keep my supplies and I like to do everything in my closet because it's just like a closed confined space where I feel safe and away from everything else and so this is where I usually scrapbook. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start off with showing you everything I have and then I'm going to just show you guys me creating my page. Um, now that I just grabbed my supplies, I actually do have a second page that I can do. It's just an unfinished page and so I think I'm going to make that one as well. I actually did pick up some supplies a couple weeks ago that I haven't used. Got this bin that I wanted to keep just extra supplies because as you can see some of my supplies don't have a container and so this was on sale at Michael's and so I'm going to be using this to just throw in extra supplies this is originally for my like pictures so like if I ever have pictures that I haven't used I will put them in here but this has also been my index card case and so I keep everything in here so I have a couple scissors I got a glue stick a different couple different ways to attach my images I have this other bond glue I have some washi tape different styles different shapes I have some pens an eraser a pencil and some markers a couple other things I got with this container was some um, stickers it's like just like a silver color which I really do need to get some white marker or white pens because I have some co dark colored papers that when I write on it you can't really see it and I don't have like a lot of white stickers so I got these ones for now but I do need to find me a pen I also got some smaller sizes of paper um, just because I, I do like how it looks to overlap your pictures with paper um, for those of you guys interested in scrapbooking, a lot of things are always on sale at like Michael's and Hobby Lobby. All of these things that I bought were like 40% off and so I only pay a few dollars for these. I don't think I want to spend that much money because then you kind of lose your interest in actually enjoying the hobby if you have to pay a lot of money. Okay, now that I've showed you guys all the supplies, for the most part, in order to start a scrapbook, all you need is a scrapbook, maybe some stickers, paper, and anything else that you can grab. Um, I don't know much about scrapbooking. I know a lot of people that scrapbook use, like, items and things like that you collect. I don't know, but for me, I'm doing this kind of like a photo album, but also having some meaning up um, with it. So I will show you guys what I have so far. And then I'm just going to make my two pages. I don't want this video to be too long. Um, and I don't want to go into detail on the meaning between things because it's kind of personal. Um, but, yeah, I don't mind sharing what I have so far. Most of it is just really me stepping into 2024, focusing on myself, focusing on my family. And I have 
just some things in here some things are a little bit unfinished but for the most part these are all the supplies I have and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started into creating my pages I hope you guys like this video thank you guys again for watching and I will see you guys in my next one So after I cut out all my pictures, I then just start placing them all over my paper and getting an idea of what I want to add as far as stickers or writing. Um, for this one, I think I want to do some stickers. I want to write the word fasting somewhere and I also want to write the phrase, I'm on my way to Rome because that was a big message in Friday's um, worship night slash guest speaker so I want to put that in here and so I'm gonna make sure I have enough space for that I don't feel like anything needs an explanation so I'm going to go ahead and just do that okay so this is just me justifying why I don't like how I don't have space for any of this so this was basically my temptation um, I had a really tough time with temptation for things I don't need and so I think instead of incorporating this I'm gonna just go ahead and write the word temptation somewhere this is obviously what I ate for the three days, but I also have that picture here, so I don't think I need that. This was just a picture of the sunset from my third day of the fast, and I just wanted to incorporate that somewhere. And then this was just the prayer that was answered, um, but I also have that to represent that prayer. So I think I'm okay with not incorporating the actual prayer. Maybe I'll just write answered prayers on here, and I'm going to cut this down smaller so I can at least see the sunset from that day. So... Mm-hmm. 